This may be weird, but I am very particular about my desktop background. When it's bright outside, I don't want the background to be too dark and look washed out. And when it's dark, I don't want the wallpaper to be too bright and hurt my eyes. Anything in the middle seems to be the worst of both worlds being both blinding and very washed out. I've tried other wallpaper changing apps on my phone such as Google Live Wallpaper but I found it very disappointing because there was a lack of selection and it wasn't very interesting because it didn't fit my needs. Also, I feel like the weather outside really affects our mood. When it's raining outside, we don't want to see a bright and shiny wallpaper. If our wallpaper reflects the weather conditions outside, we become more connected with nature and thus more open. And also become less aware that we're just sitting at a computer. Because I'm able to code, I thought, why don't I just make this app myself? So I did. I broke this problem down into two more manageable steps. One is creating a program that can change the desktop wallpaper, and the other is getting the local weather conditions so I can change the wallpaper to one that matches the weather outside. To start the first step, I needed to choose a computer program to write this app in. I wanted to use an efficient programming language so I could run the app in the background and have real-time weather updates. I first tried uh, using a batch file, but I looked everywhere online and I couldn't find a good way to change the desktop background. I tried the same thing with PowerShell and also C++ and both didn't work. I then tried to use a less efficient language to change the background, Python, and I actually found a solution that was very easy. This presented me with an issue because running a non-efficient program in the background would be detrimental to the performance of low-end PCs, and I wanted this program to be accessible to everyone. However, Python was the only language I could find that could reliably change the desktop wallpaper. It was now when I stumbled upon the Windows Task Scheduler. This is a built-in Windows 10 program that allows you to run a program in a certain interval or when a certain task is triggered. After a little bit of debugging, I was able to run the .pyw file, which is a Python file that runs without a console, in the task scheduler every five minutes. Now that I got that all sorted out, I needed a way to get the local weather. This actually turned out to be much easier than I expected. To do this, I used an API, or Application Programming Interface. You can think of this like sending a letter. In your letter, you'll be asking a few questions, and in their response, they will be answering those. Similarly, when we communicate with an API, or in our case, Open Weather API, we give them our location, and they respond with the local weather conditions in that area. Combining these two programs, I was able to get my desired result. For the wallpapers, I looked online for specific wallpapers for each individual weather condition. While doing so, I came across another program that did exactly what mine did. This was in some ways disheartening because it made what I was doing unoriginal but it was also reassuring because I now know that I have an audience. At this point, the program works pretty much perfectly. However, I still felt like there was something missing. When looking for wallpapers, you had to find 34 different wallpapers that all represented different weather conditions. This was not only time consuming, but also took away from the overall effect because the setting for each weather condition was not necessarily the same. To change this, I use the pillow library from Python, which allows you to read and modify images. Using Photoshop, I created filters that I could overlay onto the original photo for each weather condition. This way, you only need four photos, 
one for morning, one for day, one for evening, and one for night. The rest will all be done using the Python program. I then created a setup program that allows you to change the wallpaper directory, your API key, your zip code, and the text size for the, the heads up display in the top right corner. Now that we're all done, let's look at a little B-roll. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you want a deeper explanation of my code, you can download it in my GitHub or at my website, sadweepin.com. If you have any comments, questions, or ideas, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And yeah, I'll see you next time.